Hello and welcome to our second episode of our World War II Weapon Guide. In this episode, the Grease Gun. This weapon was made by General Motors and was the primary SMG for the US Army up until the late 1980s and still being used today by the Filipino Army. The Grease Gun's damage is pretty high, albeit only at a close range. You will kill within 3 shots up close within 11 meters, and then past 25 meters it's going to be up to 5 shots to kill. Your head multiplier is the same, much like other guns, at 1.1 head multiplier, which means you're going to need 3 to 4 headshots, depending on the range. Penetration ability is low, much like the other SMGs that you get. Rate of fire, however, is the key weakness with the grease gun. At 545 rounds per minute, it is the slowest within the SMG category. With rapid fire equipped, it will be 580 rounds per minute. Your hip fire is low, but most SMGs will outgun you in this regard, so only use it as a last ditch effort. Yeah, another key factor of this weapon is its mild recoil. Unlike most other SMGs, you will be killing people at longer ranges. Your aim time is unusual, being at the standard 250 milliseconds, as much as some of the other SMGs and rifles that you get. And your speed, however, is top notch, at 100% of the base speed. The mag size is around default for the SMGs at 30 rounds, or 45 with extended. However, with the reloads, it's going to be 1.8 seconds, one of the fastest in the game, and one of the fastest in the category. So our build with this weapon is going to combine two things, stealth and accuracy. The stealth being because of its faster handling traits, and for the accuracy, because this weapon has a poor rate of fire, we're going to be using it at a longer range, and it has really good recoil too to add to it. This is one of the more underestimated weapons in the game, because everyone will be going for the PPSH-41 instead, for its quicker times to kill, and higher rates of fire. And we're going to enhance both that rate of fire and its speed, too. A really nice choice to go through first is Rapid Fire. It's one of the last attachments that you unlock, but it's worth it nonetheless. It gives you 580 rounds per minute, and gives you quicker times to kill than the default 545 rounds per minute. Quick Draw will be our second best choice, to enhance your aiming time pretty quickly than the default 250 milliseconds. If you aim much faster, you will be killing most of your targets within a couple of shots, and that will be pretty worth it in the long run. Another good idea too, if you don't like the iron sights, is the reflex sight, giving you a clear view on target. Our basic training is going to be based on stealth. Undercover is good on team deathmatch, so every time that enemy gets killed, they won't be seeing that skull lying onto their HUD. And if they're not working together, that makes it even better. So they won't even know that their friend had just died until you kill them as well. So you could reap the rewards at enemy territory. Flanked is good for more objective based modes. Every time you move, the enemy recon plane won't be able to detect you, and that your explosives, or the enemy explosives at this part, are going to be delayed. Energetic is good at its speed. If you're using a different perk or a different division, you could have shorter sprint recoveries, and you can take unorthodox shortcuts due to no fall damage. For divisions, you could choose up to two, and if you prefer pure stealth, Mountaineer would probably be the best choice. It's probably good when it comes to the hardcore objective game modes, since you'll be invisible at all, even when standing. But you won't get the added benefit of a suppressor, only the airborne division would have that. But with the airborne division next to the suppressor, you also have the benefits of speed, so you can go to the objectives much faster. And if you're in enemy territory, you can attach the suppressor and won't be detected by enemy radar. So, for equipment, you can be really sneaky and add the S-mine into random locations or objectives, and the enemy won't see it coming until it's too late. But on the side, you could also add the Semtex for aggressive use, and the stun to disorient your people before finishing them off. 
So the gun on one pure accuracy is has the best three hit kill zone within the category to the MP40 be in touching distance. However, this weapon has a huge sacrifice, it has a slow rate of fire, and you will have a lower damage at distance. It also has a slow aim time too to add to it, so this weapon is going to be outgunned in point blank ranges. But as long as you keep your distance, this greaser will loop out all your enemies like they were nothing. So thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and be sure to look at my Facebook page down below. And for our next episode, we are going to be looking at the first LMG that you unlock, the Lewis. Until then, Galactic Storm saying, have a good Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys later.